It still works. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the Neverland Book Club. Today is a little bit different. As you can see, the shelves are empty. This is taking place before I record all of the videos you probably already saw. So we're going back in time just, just for a minute. So you can help me put these away. I'm not sure if I'm going to organize them by author, by genre, by color coordination, alphabetical order, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do by genre because that's what I've done in the past, but I've also done in the past just a TBR shelf and a shelf I've already read, and that's why some of them were facing out instead of in, but I'm not gonna do that here. I think I'm gonna go by genre and then by author. There, I've made a decision. Let's get started. There are also many children's books here which will go in a specific little children's nook area where a child, if a child were ever in this house, were to be here and wanted to grab a book, it is at reachable distance for them. <laughs> no children allowed in Neverland. <laughs> we're also only gonna put books on these two shelves right now and this over here because this one and the corner one are not yet finished and they're not bolted to the wall. Also, there's going to be another one here at some point. So we're just gonna focus on these two for today. These were all built by hand um, by, by Pablo. So this one? Really? It's not bolted. I don't know if I have enough. So these down here can be like old textbooks, music books, old journals, stuff like that. And then we can start, I call these the shame shelves. Cause that's where I will put my like Twilight and that sort of stuff. My shame. And then over here on these, because they're like a bit smaller, I'm gonna put my collection of Series of Unfortunate Events, Harry Potter, I think. Okay, let's start. I know I said that already twice. I'm gonna put Woody up here so he can just watch and observe, delegate. He's a bit tired. He's quite old. <laughs> okay. Where shall we start? Where should I put these? These are my space paintings. If you want to see how nerdy I am, I made this. Put these here by Woody. How did you make them? With magic and glue. <laughs> okay. What's that? This is our sophomore yearbook. Pablo and I are both in here, but never in the same picture. <laughs> Quite sad. Okay, you go down here. Look at that, perfect, perfect size. Okay, let's do yearbooks first. Let's do all the yearbooks. This is a yearbook, this is a yearbook, it's very little. These are music books, and these are all yearbooks here. Okay, getting started. Ah! I think that's all that's gonna go there right now, so that's done. <laughs> um, I said series of unfortunate events. I see a ton of those, so let's start with that. Those are gonna go right here. You see a ton of unfortunate events? Yes, it's very unfortunate. Box set of one, two, and three. You're gonna go right here, thank you very much. Should I have it not so deep? So there are a few over here. Just grab what we can see. It's gonna go in the one above. So all of my Harry Potters are in here, I think. That's, yep, that's that. Oh, okay, here we go. A little bit of each. Here we are. So I was a child and just uh, got what I could, could get. So a lot of these don't match. I have the little box set and then I have summer Paperback, some are hardback, some are duplicates. I have three copies of the wide window. I think I could put Harry Potter on the same shelf, can I? No, no, it's not big enough, huh? Not big enough. Where can I put Harry Potter? Hmm, like what else is gonna go there, you know? There, moving on. Ooh, I can put this somewhere. <laughs> If anyone was wondering, Buffy the Vampire Slayer did have a book series. Did the, the books come out first? No. They did not. <laughs> Here's a little piece that can just sit here and do that. Okay, that's where you're gonna live. Along with this guy. This guy can go right here. Where's that book I just found? <laughs> I think I have more of these somewhere. 
Probably. Just so, so this there. Expanded it's expanded lore. I got in so much trouble. I used to hide them to read them because they're inappropriate. Okay, let's let's do Stephen King. Where should I put King? Here. This one. Okay, King goes here. I might need more than one shelf for King because I have the most of him. This is gonna be the shelf you see the most though when I'm sitting, right? All right. I do kind of like like in bookshops where some like the focal point of the whole shelf. I like that. So I think what I'm gonna do with that. Oh, here they are. Huh? Being like these up here. See, like, should I be doing? Because a lot of them are black and some of them are different colors. Nah, never mind. It's fine. Maybe this one because it's smaller Maybe over here. I'll have this one be the focal point. Put all of them up. Ooh. Ah. Oh, God, I'm old. Look at that. That's cool, right? Yeah. Is that cool? That's Spooky. <laughs> okay, and the the like lesser. They're not lesser. Let's let's get that straight. They're not lesser. They're just ones that I read a really long time ago. I'll put them down here. Is that all the king I have? No. no, no it's one right on top. Oh. Nah. I turned into SpongeBob. <laughs> All right, come here. Okay, but these are all like coons and stuff, so they can also go with King. They can go down here. Okay, these can all go in just like this. Perfect. Okay, there's more here. King. King, 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 King. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Oh, I don't like that. Hold on. I do like when small goes in the middle. Let's do this. Poons goes over here. And then maybe we'll do one of these. How's that? Wait, I have more. Yeah. Here's Koontz. Koontz. God damn it, I hate that. <laughs> Why do they do that? Because this is James Patterson. I want this one to go on this side. God damn it. Ugh. Does that look okay? No, I don't like that. There we go. There we go. Here, I'm going to like this one. There we go. Maybe if I do... Is that better? No, it's not. You think that was better than, than this? Do you have any more? Any books? Probably somewhere. I didn't look at that before. Maybe. Apparently not. Ah, I didn't look in those. Oh, I see more. Hold on. Okay, just keep going and we'll come back to it. Wait, but I see more. See? King, king. Okay. 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 Ah! I'm missing five and six. I have them somewhere. And then seven. I hate that they look like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not! It's is this good? Is that good? <laughs> I don't, I King don't section? The... What if I do this? This? How's that? <laughs> I'll fill them up more, trust me. What's over here? Oh, God damn it, there's more Stephen King over here. I told you. I know, I know. There's like a few more Stephen Kings over here. Okay, so this one's big. Oh. Does anyone else have this problem? Okay, that's better, yeah? Here, 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 hold on. Do you like this better or do you like... No, because there's like... Ah! There we go. I think that's more it. <laughs> I think whichever shelf this goes on is going to be the focal point of that. And I wouldn't mind if it was here. Maybe here. You're not, are you gonna not? Are you not gonna see this shelf? We'll stick with it right here. Maybe more on the side. So it has a bit of a moment. Okay, so if she's going here, I need more V.E. Schwab. Okay. Chelsea's book can go right next to her. I can do this series here. And then it's only fitting for these three to also go there. I have two copies of these for some reason. I don't know if I like the way that looks. What else do I have? They look like books. <laughs> That's good. All the Margaret Atwoods need to go together. Ah, okay, I'll do these two. These two are good. What if? Let's 
It's not gonna fit. Is that too much of things going on? Kinda. So should I do it straight with this one straight? Or should I put her in the middle? No, because then I don't want a middle middle. I just need like one more. This one, it's fine. Huh, if I'm not mistaken, these are all female authors. We have Addie LaRue and the Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. And then we have Gathering Shadows by Chelsea Bestie. And then we have the Shadow and Bone series with the King of Scars, I'm missing the one that comes after that one. And then the Six of Crows duology, even though I have three, because I have an extra copy. Maybe in a giveaway at some point, I'll give it away. This one, Part of Your World, I, sp I spent too much money on this one and I didn't like it. This is a part of a TBR, I haven't read it yet. Also TBR, haven't read it yet. Also TBR, haven't read it yet. But all female authors, look at that. Female shelf. All right, moving on. I think I'm gonna do Margaret Atwood up here. All right, Margaret, sweetie, you go here. Where am I gonna put all my Murakami books? Oh no, you're running out of space. I think I wanna put Murakami down here. No, this is the female shelf, I just said that. Okay, let's just keep going. Atwood. I kind of like this one, so I wanted it to be facing out, but I don't wanna do that for every single one. Since these match in style, put those first. That's cool. And then, and then what? And then what? And then what? I have one manga. Slave? Sleeve. No mangas. Yo no tengo mangas. In both senses. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a ton of manga, but um, you know the animes came out. <laughs> and I read them all online. Cooperate, Murakami. I think what I'm gonna do up here, I don't know what to do up here. Are these gonna fit? Would these fit if I put them? I can do this. There you go. Okay, these are old classics. These can go together and those can go together. And these and those can go together. This is more YA and I wanted to put more YA on these shelves. So I'll do, I still haven't found the Twilight stuff. I don't know where they went. I'll find them at some point. We still have. <laughs> We still have boxes in the garage, so it might be in there somewhere. I hope they're not damaged, but... Oh well! I'm going to group all of my John Greens. Which, look at that. I love myself. They're all in one stack! It's fine the way they are. <laughs> okay, this can go up. These all can go up there. Let's just put them on there and then start moving them around. These on the edges. This on the edge. Ah, I have two copies of these for some reason. I hate when there's a little gap that I don't know what to do with. Here we go, here we go. These can go there. So on this shelf, I have a little bit of Atwood, some Murakami, all John Green, and then most of these are TBR. TBR, I read this one reading. You know what, you may have already seen me explain most of these TBR ones that I've just bought, because I haven't filmed it yet but it'll probably go out before this one goes out. So you already know what's on here. Next one, I'm thinking, or maybe I'll put classics over here. I'll put classics over here. Okay, so we have Great Expectations and A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, and then Selected Works of Edgar Allan Poe. And these are like the gold bound, the nice ones. And then I have my gold bound Anna Karenina. Love it. And then Lewis Carroll. Complete illustrated works. This is, I don't know what this is. I think this is a prop. <laughs> no, there's words. <laughs> what does this say? Billy Budd, Benito Sereno, and the Enchanted Isles by Her Herman Melville. Cause who doesn't have Herman Melville? More of these. Uh, this is my paperback of Anna. Clockwork Orange, Curious Case of Benjamin Button, Telltale Heart, Animal Farm, and Pride and Prejudice. See? Classics. Oh god, this bothers me. Maybe here I'll put the other boob. Where's the other boob? Boob. Boob. We have F. Scott Fitzgerald, Collection of Short Stories, Sweeney Todd, Atonement, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I think this is Mark Twain. No, this is O. Henry. And then, this is Mark Twain. I know I had a Mark Twain somewhere. Mark Twain. Maybe these can go like this. Ha ha. Fun, cute. Like that? Yeah, 
Huh. I'll just put this one here. Um, these are all children's books, so let's see where I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff. I think these, for now, can go right here. They can, sh excuse me. <laughs> this is The Host, it's by Stephanie Meyer. I did read it. <laughs> I read it as a youth when it came out. I don't know where this book came from. Secrets of the Tomb, Skull and Bones, The Ivy League, and The Hidden Paths of Power. Wait. Yeah, I don't know where this book came from. I don't remember. I don't know. It's just, it's always been in my collection though. I don't remember ever buying it. I haven't read it. There are maps in here. Yeah, it's weird. I think I should read it at some point. I don't know. By Alexandra Robbins. This one I did read when I was younger. Uh, my mom made me read it because it's, a lot, it's about a child being snatched. So sh it was a lesson. Into Thin Air by Stan Washburn, author of Intent to Harm. It's a good childhood reading. <laughs> oh, Emmy gave me this. This is a classic edition of a Tolstoy, Resurrection by Tolstoy. This is one of like my little collectibles and it, I'm not sure why just one side of it is painted red, but it has a little box. Where should I put this? I should put this in a special place. I'll put it right next to Buffy because it's also red. I can't move. It was a birthday present. Resurrection, because you know, in season six, um, episode one, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, she like comes back to life after sacrificing herself at the end of the fifth season. Big fan. <laughs> we have a little bit of PTSD. <laughs> a lot of PTSD. <laughs> Organic chemistry for dummies. I needed that. And uh, the MCAT no. flashcards. No, it did not. Uh, I have stationery in case I ever want to send anyone a letter. I have the um, molecular model kit for organic chemistry. I was trying to be really prepared for that class. I did pass. I passed both first time around. MCAT, a physics text, more MCAT prep stuff. Giant biology textbook. Oh my goodness. This one's big. I remember lugging that around. And White Fang by Jack London. I don't think I actually read this one. I did you? I so. Is this yours? No, I think I read Spanish. Oh. Really? I should read it. Is it good? <laughs> what is it about? Would you like to Come here. <laughs> Would you like to take the stage? No. <laughs> there was a short period of time in life that I actually enjoyed those. Like what were they? I know that one. Uh, that one? <laughs> <laughs> the older NC. Okay. Remember that was something about? Yeah. Oh, we gotta get Pablo back on reading. This is the little kit I used to seal our wedding invitations. I'm gonna put a little seal, a little... That's what this is. I think that's fine. Biology! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> I have a ton more journals somewhere in the... in the garage, but those are written in. These are not. And then Lady Gaga. Oh my god, you can go over here. <laughs> oh, I guess it's fitting if all the music stuff goes with her, right? So we have here the sheet music for Wicked, Diary of Alicia Keys, which is a very old album of hers that I was obsessed with and I knew how to play some of them, not all of them. Very obsessed with the music from The Corpse Bride. I could I could play all of these. I still can. I'll not talk about this one. <laughs> and this was a guitar tab where like I actually wrote my own stuff. This one here says fifth mode craziness. Who knows? Almost done. We're almost done. Children's books. N, big ol' N. Sure. Right next to the boob. Here you go. Boob. Picture of me. Whoever going crazy looking for those, remind me they're over there. Huh? On brand with uh, Buffy, we have student planners from 2002 to 2004. I was showing these to Pablo and in some of them it just says Bug Meme as my to-do list for that day. Okay, Cinderella, Lady and the Tramp, Oh, the places you'll go. Snow White, Robin Hood. We have another Dr. Seuss, uh, Hop on Pop, and it's got a little bit of wear and tear. And then um, this French children's book. Is it in French? It's all in French, and it teaches you numbers and letters and little boy, girl, colors. It teaches you gender stereotypes? Yes. 
So that's interesting. Uh, Little Mermaid, Alice, Beauty and the Beast. Another, I just, look at that. I just love having duplicates. What? Duplicates. Duplicates? Duplicates. Oh. A treasure of fairy tales. This looks like, oh my God. God, I'm getting flashbacks. This, my parents definitely read to me. Oh my goodness. So yeah, cause it has all of the old, the old fairy tales. Hansel and Gretel, the three bears, just so many. Here are all of these for any child who would like to come and read them. Was Winnie the Pooh is Disney, right? Apparently. Yeah, look, look, it's right here. Huh. I stand correct. <laughs> Not corrected, just correct. Ooh. God damn it. <laughs> Where's that boob? There, that's cute. It's like leaned up against each other. All right. I don't know. It's so close to the shelves. Where should I put it? All right. Look at all those fancy shelves. <laughs> well, I'm going to do a lot of shopping soon. <laughs> what have we learned today? Be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. These are the shelves I've always dreamed of and I can't fill them. <laughs> they learned that candles are cheaper in only one way. <laughs> <laughs> They're also cheaper in experience. Yeah, but this is a big price gap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you're not already and be be sure to click that bell to be notified when we put out new things. Today's shout out goes to Emily Bennett. Ella, Ella Bennett, sorry. Ella Bennett, thank you so much for your subscription and your comment. You love my accent and my creativity, why thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, I am off to go scour all of the secondhand bookstores in my neighborhood so I may fill these shelves. Stay lost, keep reading. Goodbye. Oh no, I'm actually stuck. <laughs> Goodbye! Help! She's my baby. Are you zoomed in on something? Is it on me? <laughs>